that have excelled academically while earning numerous medals and trophies. But the talents of this class extend far beyond the realm of sports. We have future Grammy-winning musicians like Samuel Adieri and Kojo APJ, also known as K. Mula and Wu Baby, respectively, and JFD. We also have world-leading software developers such as Richmond and Hakeem. We also have top-tier graphic designers like Obed and Nicole, our very own world-class seamstress Ellen A. Suman, reminiscent of the great Auntie Debbie herself. We also have future world-renowned foundations such as Pimoja and the Coconuts Foundation. And also, last but not least, we have talented authors like Natasha, who released her book, It's Your World, Evangeline. And next to me, right here, we have a recent author who released his book, Elevate. So I get money for Ghana and I didn't know. Hello everyone, what's up and welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for clicking. If you are new here, hi, my name is Lillian. But if you are a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back to watch another video on my channel. I have been curious about a lot of things in Ghana lately. I don't know why. So I decided to check out an international school in Ghana. <laughs> <laughs> no one absolutely nobody made this request curiosity got me here i want to find out what it is like i mean the luxury side of the ghanaian education that we don't talk about which is private school four day super rich today so today we are starting with one i don't know if we would do this again but maybe if i feel like it i will otherwise i have been loving the public schools in ghana i'm still in love yeah i know i appreciate the public schools in ghana but i also wanted to take a look at and see the other side of life where it has nothing to do with the government where it is an individual an investor who just finds it fits to contribute to the education sector in Ghana and I said I want to do it I want to I want to go extra and affluence you know <laughs> And I found the school online. This school is located in Tema at the greater Accra region of Ghana. Let's check them out and I will be back. <laughs> Let's go. SOS Herman Minor International College, usually referred to as SOS AGIC, is a highly selective school which offers quality education for students between the ages of 13 to 19. It is a cultural melting pot with students coming from countries from Africa, Europe, America, and Australia. We offer both the International Baccalaureate Middle Years Program and the Diploma Program with class sizes suitable enough to give students the opportunity to interact with their peers and their teachers. SOS was founded by Mr. Helmus Kutin in 1990 with a vision to provide a school of academic excellence for students from SOS children's villages from all over Africa, together with students from the host country, Ghana. In a spirit of Pan-Africanism, since its inception, SOS has been able to produce some of the best global citizens of today who are proud to call themselves SOS children. We believe that no matter your background, once you step into the gates of this great school, you will and forever be an SOS child. 
We have top tier sports facilities where students can explore a number of sporting activities to see which activity best suits them. Students are encouraged to participate in at least one sporting activity once every week. Being represented by 24 nationalities, SOS prides itself in having a diverse community. Each semester, our students are given the opportunity to share a part of their culture with one another. As part of the IB language requirement, students are able to offer language courses like French, Spanish, Amharic, and Swahili. We place major emphasis on the IB learner profile within and outside of the classroom. We have displays of the profile on the walls of the school and in the majority of the classes. Our library, the Valco Library and Learning Center, provides a wide range of information resources, modern day tools, programs and services to support teaching and learning in the form of books, texts, magazines, a great collection of fictional novels for leisure and an online service, Oliver. Our learning facilities include four science labs, one for chemistry, one for physics, one for biology, and a general lab, all located in the Helmet Kutin block. The SOS Art Studio serves as the domain for students to hone their visual artistic prowess through various media such as clay and the traditional paint and canvas. The music room, equipped with several instruments such as pianos, guitars, and drums, helps unearth the musical talent within our students. Here, our musical students, with the help of our highly skilled music staff, create symphonies, ensembles, sonatas, and their own songs. Our iconic Margaret Nkrumah Hall, dedicated to Dr. And Mrs. Margaret Nkrumah, is where school assemblies are held, as well as the annual graduation, speech, and prize giving day. It also provides a platform for students to display their performing arts. We are Pan African School. Uh, we provide a school of academic excellence for our students from SOS children villages across the continent. It's a, it's a community where students enjoy learning. They're curious. They engage in a number of service learning projects because we believe that they should use their skills to benefit their communities. It's also a school where teachers and students work together in harmony with a common goal of excellence in education. So we were the first IB school in Ghana. I think one of the highlights and the reasons why we adopted the program was because we believed it would help us to create a platform for our students to have an inquiry-based learning and also for our teachers to obtain and access to the best pedagogical practices that will make them excellent teachers. Now, I would like to know your thoughts down there at the comment section. Will you or will you not send your kids to the school? I'm asking people in Ghana alone because there are a lot of options to choose from. I mean, will I rather do private or public? I'll keep my own opinion to me. I would like to know yours down there at the comment section, okay? Let's take a look at the alumni. I like to see the pass of something, a result of an action because i love to see a result of an action i like to take a look at the people that have taken that route before people that have acted that way before where are you now because sometimes some of us i have seen people do things that i honestly just want to take a look at their lives closely so maybe i would do or not do first before i take you guys to the alumni of this school let's check let's do a room tour of one of the room tours that i found online mind you every information you're seeing in this video is already out in public on the internet i am only reacting to these videos i hope you understand next to my desk i have my shelves and my suitcase i have this little area which is my snack box which also doubles as a chair i have this white kitting and a pendant light so this is what my room looks like in the night with the lights turned on yeah of course anyways this 
this school the king of the ashanti kingdom has his son or let's say his children in this school i think he was the one that attracted the school to me because i was taking a look at i love this uh, colorful outfits i basically love to see this Ghanaian culture where the chiefs and kings uh, are moving i love that part i don't know if you have observed in my public schools reaction videos that I've been doing. I love to include these parts in the video. So I, I saw the colorful display in a video of the king of Ashanti kingdom. I decided to click and then it leads me to the school and I said, okay, here I am. So now let's use this opportunity and take a look at the alumni of this school because in every action you want to take today, there are people that have taken it and I like to see where it leads them. <laughs> Your teachers, particularly the one who was the toughest one, because they are the ones who cared most of you. SOS is my life, SOS has been my life and shall always be my life. One thing, whenever you make a mistake, stand for it. Don't start to talk around and find some excuses left and right. Simply stand up and say, yes, I have made a mistake, I stay for it. I stand for it. Acknowledging His Royal Majesty, Otun Fo Seitutu II, Her Royal Highness, Lady Julia, the former board chair and founding principal, Mrs. Nkrumah, the current board chair, Mr. Richard Akutu, alumni, alumni staff, and esteemed visitors from SOS Children's Villages across Africa, our dear parents, staff, and students. Welcome the proud parents of the graduating class of 2024. I welcome staff, students, parents, and our online audience to this ceremony. Thank you, Richard. Ladies and gentlemen, in April we lost our cherished founder, Mr. Helmut Gutin, who always attended graduation. He always had words of wisdom for us, and would like to hear a message from him today again as we listen to a short clip. But before the video message, may I kindly ask that we observe a minute of silence. If we could all kindly rise as we observe a minute of silence in honor of our cherished founder, Mr. Helmut Putin, after which we show a video. Thank you. Good morning. Your Royal Highness, and good morning to you, Her Royal Highness, Lady Julia. We are here to represent the class of 1997, and we bring you greetings from the entire class. It was an honor and a privilege to be able to refurbish the Boys' Common Lounge, and we had tremendous support from the entire class. 
to which we are very grateful. Ibram, would you like to say a few words about the project? I think basically what we did was to raise funds from our friends and alums from the other institutions. And um, I'm today, I'm just adding a little. I serve with Tumfo, I'm the Deputy Director of ITK and UST. And through the effort of uh, AGIC, it's been a good place for me. Thank you. Thank you. At this juncture, I would like to hand over our project to the next class, the class of 1998. would like to urge all the students to give generously towards this project onto, and also to, this, to the college to keep up the legacy of our founders, um, Dr. Herman Miner and also Mr. Herman Kutin, who is no longer with us, but to keep his legacy going. We'd like to also encourage students to also keep the principles that we've been taught into, from Mrs. Nkrumah, the founding principal and the board chair, to keep those principles in mind even as we move forward. We pray that this lounge would be a, a, a place for collaboration and to keep the knowledge and service of Africa going. We'd like to call on Alan now and hand over to you as you continue the legacy. Thank you. Thank you, class of 97. So I'm here with Alan. We are class of 98. And we're happy to be back in school. It looks amazing, even more amazing than we left it. And we look forward to coming back next year to report on what we decided to do to help the school. So thank you. And please, when we ask you for money, please donate. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. We have another cultural dance, and it's the Adwa dance. The Adwa dance is a traditional dance of the Asante people characterized by smooth and fluid movement that allow performers to express their emotions through their hands and feet. Dances where the colorful can take cloth and the gold jewelry moving in harmony with traditional music. I just want to say that our dancers today are mostly from students from Uganda, Nigeria, Rwanda, and Kenya, and who are teaming up with their Ghanaian uh, colleagues to perform a creative adaptation of the Adwa dance. Uh, obviously, they'll be showcasing its cultural richness whilst preserving its tradition. Uh, shall we welcome our performance? who happens to be a youtuber you need to see her daddy's house her papa house is not a regular i'm like she do share her life and all that and she attended school i'm like hey hey and i saw when i get money for ghana and i didn't know anyways but my part for me is it's consoling to know that even with amazing schools like this the public schools in ghana are still doing wonderfully they are still doing amazing you still see a rich a super rich person have their kids in a public school that part is where i love anyways i hope that you did enjoy this video and that i will see you in another one bye